Hi guys, I thought I'd um, try and do a pregnancy update, uh, birth story and uh, uh, and gender reveal while in the car. I've tried to film this video so many times today and feel a bit conspicuous as I've got parent cars all behind me and my baby soon to be revealed is being a pest, aren't you? Yes, you are. Um, so maybe I should do the gender reveal first in case you get a glimpse of her, of the baby nearly said the gender then so the gender of the baby that I had is a girl oh there's a back of her head I had a baby girl and her name is Lily this is Lily um I know I don't normally have my children in my videos but this is a special video um, so yes, I had a baby girl and she is uh, four months today, uh, well not, she's about four and a half months, she's 19 and a half weeks tomorrow, so yeah, it was um, a stressful pregnancy, um, uh, where to start, so I think the last video I left off was that uh was about my i think i was 13 weeks pregnant and i'd had my 12 week scan um and although nothing majorly happened the rest of the pregnancy like it did at the beginning it was just the is she moving uh how i felt as a day um and the constant worry of will i stop bleeding and all that it was just very very stressful pregnancy all the way to the end um, towards the end of the pregnancy um, I was worried about whether she was moving I'd have days where she wouldn't move um, all morning and then I'm, then I'd feel her in the afternoon and I'd be relieved and then, and then I'd just like be prodding her and trying to get her to move um, yeah so basically from 13 to 40 plus 2 which was when how many days over I was with her um, I had horrendous heartburn to the point where I was throwing up. Um, I actually didn't put on much weight towards the end of my pregnancy because I was just throwing up all the time um, from the heartburn, not from being feeling sick. Um, and then on my, the day after my due date, I had a stretch and sweep. And from that moment on, I felt pains all down my legs, but I thought that... Um, Lily had moved on to a nerve in my in my legs and that's why I was having that pain but little did I know those pains were actually contractions and I didn't know you could have contractions in your legs but apparently you can because I did um, so on the Saturday um, we went for a walk didn't do much because I kept getting these pains down my leg and I did I was a little bit crampy but I was just like, oh, I don't want to get my hopes up in case uh, it's not happening. Um, then on the Sunday, I woke up about five o'clock in the morning. And I was really wet, but I wasn't sure whether I needed, whether it was because I needed to go to the toilet or whether my water had broken. And I woke my husband up and said, you know, I'm not sure if my waters have gone or not. Um, and he was. He was close, he didn't know what to do, so uh, I just thought, okay, I'll just see how I get on. And I was getting the pains down the back of my legs again. Um, so then the kids woke up about uh, half six, half six, seven o'clock. So, uh, and I was still getting these pains down my legs and a little bit crampy, but nothing. I still wasn't sure what was going on. Um, so I decided to give them a bath, and then about nine o'clock, I rang the labour ward and said what had happened and they were like well we'll come in and we'll see how how you're doing uh if you're in labour or not um and whether your waters are broken so they told me to bring in a sample of well i don't really want to say it, but you i think you can get the drift uh so i rang my mum to come and look at the look after the children and i was about to all at the time and the contractions started so i knew that something was going on um then she yeah. arrived at 10 o'clock uh took after the children and me and my husband went into triage so got to triage 
um, oh, on the way I, I was desperate for some Pepsi Max so he got me some two bottles of Pepsi Max which I thought was one was for him but one was uh, well they were both for me but uh, anyway but that's beside the point so we got to triage and they put me on a monitor to see how she was doing um, and sorry I was just uh, but I saw someone I needed <laughs> just sat outside of school yeah so they put me on the monitor um, I had to click the button every time she moved and after half an hour she said uh, everything's fine I was having contractions as well quite strong ones they were every three minutes um, but I was quite calm I wasn't stressed out or um, uh, freaking out or anything I was just like yeah yeah oh they're painful but you know it's exciting, you know, li Lily's on her way, sort of thing. Um, so then she's like, oh, we can check, see how far you are, if you want. And I was like, oh, well, I bet I'm quite far now. Because when I'd had the stretch and sweep, she said I was um, two to three centimetres then anyway. Um, so she checked me out, she's like, oh, you're only two to three. And I was like, are you joking? I haven't moved from Friday. She's like, you can go home if you want to. Um or we, we can find you a bed and I was like I was very tempted to go home because I wanted to be with the other two and they were going for McDonald's and I really fancied McDonald's but then because the contractions were every three minutes I wasn't sure like I'd know when to come back in so I decided to stay um, in the hospital so they put me in a room in triage and my husband wanted to go and get McDonald's um, so uh, I said I'll uh, he missed the birth of my daughter from getting sent to it so I said you better go now um, so that you don't miss this one this time so he went into town and I decided to run a bath because people had always said you know run a bath that helps you with the pain so I did um, and when I got in the bath the pain was really intense and it was awful it didn't really uh, it didn't really to help being in the bath but um, I couldn't get out of the bath all right shh. So, I'm gonna have to try and put her on while I talk to you so um see so, yeah, I got stuck in a bath and when my husband came back an hour later I was still in the bath um, it was quite it was getting quite cold and uh, there you go it was getting quite cold but I couldn't get out of the bath because I was in so much pain and he was like do you want to come in me to help you and I was like no 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 leave me alone I eventually got out of the bath and got in the bed um, and this was about so I went into the hospital about 10 o'clock half to 10 um, and then this was about half one half one and uh, the pain was getting so intense I was I managed to get out of the bath I was lying on the bed um, and I was saying, oh, this is really bad, and I was contemplating having an epidural. So my husband went to go and get the midwife, and she came back, and she was like, oh, when was the last time you checked? And I said, oh, I only got checked when I came in. She was like, oh, well, we'll, we'll, we'll check you and see how far along you are. So um, they went off, and it was then that I thought I could feel pressure, and I was like, I can't say anything. And then all of a sudden, I just screamed to my, well, shouted to my husband. I said, oh, I need to push. And he ran out of the room and went to get a midwife. And she came back uh, with someone else. I, I don't really remember. It's all a bit of a blur. And I just said, oh, we need to push. And she was like, no, no, you can't need to push. You can't be that far along. It's only been a couple of hours since you come in. And I was like, no, I really need to push. And she was like, oh, you need to get on your back. And I was like, I can't get on my back. I'm in too much pain. And I remember them forcing me onto my back. And one of them checking me and um, I think they must have felt her head because then it just went crazy they they were they had one midwife down there holding her head in the other midwife or midwives everywhere and my husband was following behind and and I was like oh screaming and um, like trying not to push but pushing anyway um, and then they got me into labour ward and she came practically straight away about uh, half two or 2.37. She came, popped out and straight on me, I hadn't even, I was still wearing what I was wearing that morning. And um, yeah, so that got all bloody and what have you. And uh, they laid, me on, laid her on my chest and they were like, oh, I can't believe it. So I was only, 
in hospital about half ten, about four hours, and she was here. So, yes, it was a really crazy birth, um, just as crazy as my daughter's um, and my son's. I've had, not traumatic, but I've had crazy stories to tell um, from all of my births of my children and although I would like more children my husband doesn't so she will be my last um, which is really sad because uh, as I said I would like I would like to have more but yeah he says three is enough so three is all I'm going to have so uh, I hope you enjoyed this video um, I know it wasn't um, some fancy gender is it real but I just wanted to say in a video uh, what I had um, yeah so that is my birth story I know it wasn't really much of a pregnancy update but other than feeling ill all the time and knackered there wasn't really much to update so I am going to go and get my daughter and son from school and I will see you in my next video goodbye